A series of big money contracts have been signed as the Army's warrior upgrade edges closer. The MOD wants the armoured vehicles to remain the backbone of the Army for decades to come and is spending a billion pounds on improvements. Will Inglis has been to see a prototype. Designed for a Cold War battle that never came, the warrior became the gold standard in infantry protection. Now, though, warfare has changed, and Warrior is changing too. Lockheed Martin is working on a billion-pound contract, the Warrior Capability Sustainment Programme. Complex design works underway on the detail, but this is broadly what the upgraded Warrior will look like. There's a bigger gun, a better protected and stabilised turret, meaning it can fire on the move for the first time. And inside, hidden away, there's an electronic architecture. That should make it future-proof. Not all the changes are obvious from the outside, though. In terms of in the back, the, the, the platform itself is equipped with environmental control systems. So that's probably the biggest single change uh, for the operation of, of, of the uh, Warrior uh, platform itself, which means that in hot and, uh, and cold environments, you know, the, it should be a far more comfortable environment to be in. We're going to be using the infantry trials and development units and armoured infantry users have had both you know, recent and more far-reaching armoured infantry experience to ensure that the vehicle is thoroughly you know, tested and trialled to the absolute satisfaction of the British Army who's going to run this vehicle out to 2040. This programme involves more than just Lockheed Martin. Lots of the work is being done by smaller specialist companies, some of them signing contracts today. This is what Myra does every day. We, we help engineer uh, vehicles, uh, we design vehicles, we solve problems for the manufacturers out there. So we are able to uh, bring that expertise directly onto the Warrior. This project has huge implications for the future of the Army and getting the design right and reliable will take time. But if all goes well, Warrior will start trials in 2014 with the Army getting its hand on the first new vehicles from 2018. Will Inglis, Forces News, Bedfordshire.